But let's take a look at what is happening in the markets and we start off with the JSC that has slipped further into the red in today's session. Of course, one of the big things that investors are waiting for in anticipation is OPEC's meeting that is due to take place tomorrow. And of course, that is right before COP28 starts in Dubai, which is in the UAE, which is one of the OPEC nations. Just looking at the all share there declining almost half a percent with the industrial 25 carrying the bulk of those losses shedding more than half a percent their financial 15 with a loss of more than a third of a percent resources 10 complex declining by almost a quarter of a percent Let's take a look at what is happening on Wall Street. And uh, over there, we, uh, we do have markets um, digesting or comments coming out of Fed uh, officials. I uh, would some saying that uh, it looks like uh, that economy um, and the Fed's actions ha have actually led to a cooling down of inflation, but still also that inflation is way too high, of course, as you know, that it is still above that 2% target. Uh, but what also gave investors a boost today was the uh, US's GDP growth figure uh, that came out surprising to the upside that was more than what markets had uh, expected, but also more than the preliminary figure. They're growing uh, at 5.2% there in the third quarter. So a sea of a green over there. S&P 500 up uh, almost a third of a percent. The tech heavy Nasdaq climbing four tenths of a percent and a gain on the Dow of more than a tenth of a percent. Let's take a look at what is happening with markets across the Atlantic and quite a mixed picture over there. One of the data points that came out is a cooling down of German inflation. They're surprising to the downside, um, uh, growing at a slower pace there at 2.3% in November. Uh, 4100 being the only boss in the red there, declining almost four tenths of a percent. The CAC 40 with a gain of almost a fifth of a percent and the DAX there with a gain just shy of 1%. Let's take a look at the currency scene and start off with how the RAND is doing against some of the major currencies. Um, a little bit of strength coming through to the RAND. Of course, around this time, it was at 18 Rand 70 against the US dollar. Now standing at 18 Rand 56 against that currency, at 20 Rand 53 against the pound and at 20 Rand 36 against the euro. Let's check in on how the other currency pairs are doing, starting off with the euro dollar at 1.09, the pound dollar at 1.26, a little bit of strength coming through to the yen, just below 148 against the US dollar.